Welcome to Enjoying Life, a program of music, chatter, and friends designed to put a refreshing moment in your day. Now, please welcome your award-winning hosts, Dr. Jerry and Little Jan. Oh, we're so glad to be here. Well, well, sweetheart, it's time to sing and pick and have friends again. How about that? Are Let's you ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. Yes. All right. You know what I need right here to make this really southern is a big old glass of southern <laughs> iced tea. We were singing up you north some that. time ago, you know, in Pennsylvania, uh -huh. and some folks said, where are y'all from? And I said, we're from the land of sweet tea and grits. <laughs> <laughs> you really did, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. I know you did. Because, you know, that's southern to me. I tell you, I love sweet tea and grits. A lot of northerners don't like, you like grits? I love I grits. I know you like grits. Oh, you fix grits, grits at the house a lot. Yes, I do. But I you, don't care how they are either. But you like a lot of butter in them and all that, don't well, you? Well, yeah. 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 I don't like, you know, when they, up north, they put cream and sugar on them. Oh, I don't like, now, I don't like them that way. That's like cream of wheat. That's it? cream of wheat. Yeah. Yes. But I like a good old hunk of butter in there, you know, and stir them up. And I like a little ketchup in mine. You don't like that, do no, you? No, I don't like, I don't, I don't guess anybody <laughs> knows. <laughs> I, I doubt there's very many people out there that know how to put uh, ketchup on grits. And eggs, yeah, I like that. You know, well, that's southern. Yeah. Well, another thing that's Southern is bluegrass music. Bluegrass music. Our special guests today are bluegrass pickers. You know, bluegrass is strong in gospel. It is. Yes, yes it is. It is we hot. have uh, Jeff and Sherry Easter. And the Isaacs. And the Isaacs and the Lewis family. Lewis's. And we were working the other day with Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver, and they were yes. singing some gospel. So we have a lot of, of country and bluegrass singers in gospel, mm -hmm. and I love that. I love that. So today... Today we're going to feature bluegrass in uh, enjoying life. Enjoying life. Let's. Uh, we got a song here that's got some picking in it. Now this song uh, has got a break in it, a musical break. We'll sing a little bit, then it's got a musical break, and you'll hear a banjo, and you'll hear fiddle. Now usually, if you if we're in concert, usually when it gets to this break. You know, I talk a little bit. I'll testify. I'll talk a little bit. But today, I'm going to shut my mouth, and we're just. <laughs> going to say he always talks in there yeah but today i'm just going to let it pick are yeah. you ready to sing let's, let's we're going to sing wait till they roll the stone away all right let's, let's go and do it. it and i love what this song says <laughs>
know, I wrote that song riding through the city of Cincinnati. Really? Now, the cops would have gotten me if they'd have seen me, cause, but that was before the days of everybody having a cell phone. <laughs> and I wrote it on a piece of paper on the steering wheel and, oh and sang it that night uh, at a concert over... Remember Big Jim Gibson? I do. You know, oh he's gone goodness, to be yes. with the Lord. Yes, yeah. He is. Well, it was for them, and they were sponsoring it. And uh, and they had a terrific house band, mm -hmm. and I taught them how to play it, and we just had a blast. You I had a good it. time. I love to sing that song. Now, this next song, this next song, you know my dad's preacher? You knew that, didn't you? I know it, yes. And I want to say up front, we had some good parsonages along the way, beautiful parsonages, but early, we had some rough ones. I remember... The first parsonage we lived in, you know parsonage where a preacher lives. I know that. And the first parsonage we lived was a one-car garage. Dad boarded up where the car goes in, cut a hole in the side, and it was a one-car, one-room. And that's where you lived. That was the parsonage. Whoa. <laughs> and we lived there. And, oh, but we moved up on the second parsonage. The second parsonage <laughs> was in Arizona, <laughs> and it was made out of adobe mud. Now, that's true. They stacked the mud bricks up. They're about uh, 14 inches square. And then they cover them with chicken wire. And then they cover that with plaster. Okay. That was uh, So this song came out when we lived in the mud parsonage. Ooh, that's a long time and ago. And I love this song because it says what I'm going to have when I leave this world to the new world to come. Okay. And so I came out, and I remember it was in Living Waters Convention Songbook, page 102. And I learned it. And it's still one of my favorite songs today. No cabins in glory. I will get the best that heaven has for me If I am a victor over sin When at last I reach that city or the mystic sea I don't want to barely make it in There will not be a cabin in glory For gold will be the cheapest thing there State. And every child of God will be a multi-millionaire. We'll all join in singing the story up on the streets of that eternal strand. And as we dwell with Christ the King, we'll have the best of everything. There'll be no heavens in that land. Jesus told his disciples, in my father's house are many mansion. Listen to this verse. shanty in some lonely nook just nestle near a common promenade i just want a mansion like i'm promising god's book friends with sweetest flowers ever made there will not be a cabin in glory for gold will be the cheapest thing there and inside those golden gates our palaces of state and every child of god will be a See you in a minute. Well, thanks for staying with us. You're going to be so glad you did. Wasn't that picking early? I, I, just, I wish I could pick a banjo. I, I'm telling you, but I know whose hand that was picking that banjo. Oh, just do you? It. Yeah. Just the, yeah. You know, you play bass. We got one, you know, right over here on the set. You yeah. play bass. And you used to play, what was that thing you played? Otter harp. And the otter harp. Yes. You played the otter harp and mm -hmm. you played the bass. And yes. you also were known for playing the harmonica. Oh, I have you played excellent. the piano a little bit too, but I think you were known more for don't for you the harmonica. That? I was yeah, yes, yeah. and of course, uh, but I don't do that anymore. One time we were—I won't <laughs> say where—but it was a big Baptist church, and and so I played my trumpet. You know, I played yes. my trumpet, and the pastor leaned over and he said, "Can you teach me to do that?" Well, I knew that if my mic was on; they could all hear me. And I said, "If you're a Baptist preacher, you got enough hot air, you can do it." <laughs> and his, his congregation just roared. They I'll loved it because they well, know. We, yeah. we've got some special guests Wonderful today. Wonderful guests, and they're—they're, they're, uh, you know, they're almost family. They are. We got with us today Charlie and Linda Beatenbow. We're yeah. so glad you're here. Well, we're glad to be here. We're so glad. And you know, can I ask you, where did the word 
name Beaten Bull come from? I always told everybody, I think they drew it out of a hat. They put oh, a bunch of strange names in there, and that's the one they picked. Oh, my. Linda did some research one time, and it said I was part German, uh -huh. part Dutch, uh -huh. and that's... That's uh, as far as you know. There are five that. different spellings in my family, I can tell you that right is now. Is that right? In some, your own family, are the word Beaten Bull? Mine family? is B-E-A-T-E-N-B-O. Yeah. Some spell it B-O-W. Uh -huh. Some spell it B-A-U-G-H. Some uh -huh. spell it B-O-U-G-H. Oh, just... my goodness. And these are cousins. Oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, yeah. Charlie uh, played with Wendy Bagwell and the Sunlighters with yes. me yes. for uh, many, many how years. Many year, how many years y'all traveled together? Well, yeah. 10 years the first time. Yes. Ten, 10 years? 10 years mm -hmm. the first wow. time. And before Wendy passed away in 96, well, he, he had uh, was back on the road with us uh -huh. uh, for a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's been around. I think your family was the picker too, weren't they? Mom and Dad started a singing group. Well, Dad started a singing group in 1960, just he and Mom and me. Uh -huh. Two guitars and, and the three of us in 1960. In 1960. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a when, long when, did you two, uh, when did you two get together, Linda? 1968. In 1968. Did you immediately start singing with him? I did the, the year before we married. Well, the year before yeah. you married. And we yeah. married in 69. I, I don't so think he, I knew that, Linda. Yeah. You know, Linda's a great pianist. Yes, yes. She played for uh, my home church, uh -huh. Pleasant Grove Baptist Church. Oh, really? Church. She was a church pianist? She was well, for a that? long time, weren't you? <laughs> but, you know, I've heard her play, but I, I don't, we've, uh, you don't play when you go out in concerts, do you? No, no, I'm trying to concentrate on singing. <laughs> oh, are you? Well, you guys do a great job. <laughs> sure do you, do. How many dates are you, I know you used to, like all of us, you used to work all the time, but yeah, I see some white hair up there now, so oh, yeah. you don't go as much as you did, that do you? That cotton top is real cotton now. <laughs> is that real? <laughs> I know the stuff on camera is getting it. thin, too. But we used to do 100 to 150 dates a year, which yeah. is the time you catch you going and coming dates. Yeah. That keeps you away about 200 days a year. And then it went down to about 190 to 100. And today, in our senior years, you might say, <laughs> yeah. uh, you we're might doing say. anywhere from 75 to 80 dates a year. Maybe. But that's still a lot. That's, that's, it is, is a lot. Nice. I know you have a big bus. Do, do, do you drive, still drive? I know she used to I, say, I she drive. said, is this, is this true? She said, Charlie Beaton Bowl could fix anything on a broken down bus. Well, I don't know about that. But, or a PA set. Or a PA set. I, I can say yeah. one thing. They yes, never got did. stranded on the road no, for 10 did years. No, we did right? <laughs> we, But we did when he was gone. Yeah. I have but, uh, to say that. How about that? I still do all the driving, but you know, I don't do that mechanic work now like I used to. I have it done most of the time, but... Uh -huh. um, it's or just or too he asked me. Oh, does he ask you? <laughs> yeah. Well, do you drive? <laughs> yes, I do. You drive the bus? Yes, I do. The bus? Yes. Really? She don't we want to get we, called this, out. We were in, um, <laughs> we was in uh, Col Denver, Colorado. Uh -huh. It's in Denver, Colorado, and we was coming back east somewhere, and I had bought a car. Uh -huh. In Dallas, Texas, uh -huh. uh, oh my. Uh, on eBay of all uh -huh. things, and so she drops me off at the Dallas airport. Uh -huh. I mean, at uh, Denver airport, and I catch a plane to Dallas and pick up that car. And her and Molly, you remember Molly? Uh, that's, that's your dog. dog. That's your dog. All those years, you and the dog. Her and the dog. The two of them took the bus and went halfway across <laughs> to Salina, Kansas, <laughs> and I met them that night about midnight. So, it, so she took the bus, her and the dog, and gone off for well, eight hours. <laughs> Good, peaceful ride. Oh, wasn't that, wasn't it? You didn't have Charlie in there telling you how to drive. Exactly, okay, exactly. Okay, all right. Well, you know, we're just so glad y'all are here. We could oh, ask you a, a glad thousand to be questions. Here. We could talk all day. You yeah, know, we yes, got we stories could. galore. Oh, Lord. Do you, do you write anything or anymore? I know you produce because you have a, your own studio. He no, I have. Is. I'm sorry. I've always wished I had the gift to write because uh -huh. uh, they're the guys that make the money, you know, royalty <laughs> checks. Us guys in the studio, we work by the hour. <laughs> but um, I've, I've done a lot of uh, in a recording studio I've owned for 25 years and, yes. and produced a lot of groups, but I have never had the gift of writing. I, and I admire you, the, all the songs and things that you write. Well, you're you very just kind. get a thought and then it's a song. That's <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's, that, that's, that's just what we right. do. Each yeah. of us have our own abilities, you know. Right. I wish I could play the banjo, too. Or the, <laughs> well, I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so good to have you on the well, program. Well, thank you, Jerry. I, I was tickled to death when your office got in touch with us. I uh -huh. just was so glad to... 
Uh, well, we want to know that you're going to come back sometime, I you know, and, hope so. and pick it. We <laughs> might could pick and sing, you know, or maybe get you playing the bass or the auto harp or something. Well, we'll, we'll let him just play a flat top and we'll sing with that. Yes. Yeah, that'd just be cool. Just let, that'd be let, fun, let, yeah, let, Off the cuff, they call it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me and you and Linda will sing harmony as yeah. Charlie picks that bass. Hey, that'd be I mean, pretty good. Guitar. That'd be pretty good. Yes, You know, was. we did sing something together. I just have remembered. Okay. You know, on our cruises, we sing, uh, you know, we do a program for seniors and we, I mean, uh, celebrating love and anniversary and we sang for that big uh, you right. are my sunshine and, yes. and let me call you sweetheart remember yeah, that yes. so we hear y'all on the yeah, cruise okay. Okay. well we better get to some music here Charlie yeah. we're going to say goodbye to you go over there and get I'm your uh, find a banjo. banjo on and we'll get ready for Charlie to pick and uh, after he gets all set up over there Charlie's going to pick a great song for us on a banjo a banjo soloist and here's a good song that I know you're going to enjoy how in the blood. Picking fire in the blood on the it, banjo. Isn't that, isn't that good? That is so good. He's I just good. love that. I <laughs> love, you know, wherever we have to sing, uh, we get a p chance to sing with uh, bluegrass singers, you know, sometimes. Yes. Particularly at festivals. Like we were over in Shadow Valley, you know, when we were there singing with some of them. And, and of course, down in Florida, when we do the winter dates down there, of course, yeah, they're there yes. at some festivals down there. Mm -hmm. Every time they put the banjo picker out front, the crowd gets excited. For some reason, the banjo will make a crowd come alive. It does. It certainly does. I don't know what there is, but it will make a crowd come alive. Yeah. It surely does. Well, let's go back to Charlie and Linda, and they're going to sing for us now. And here's a song that says, How Can I Keep From Singing? <laughs>
You know, I'm enjoying Bluegrass Day on Enjoying Life. Are you? <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, and, and they're really close friends. You know, we yes. go out to eat with them. We see them every once in a while, and, and we share the company. And, of course, we work with them occasionally in concert, too. Yes, we do. Let's uh -huh. let, uh, since we like it so much, let's let Charlie play again. Yeah, let's uh, another, have a guitar one this time. A guitar. And here's Charlie Beatenbow to play that great inspirational song, Goodbye, World, Goodbye. Here we go. What and good? Linda. And Linda. They're I'm both here. You. I'm, you know, I would like to hear Linda play and play the piano and play a little of that while he's doing, you know. Yep. Wouldn't that be good? That would be fun. You know, some people ask, how do we get in touch with some of these people that you have on? Maybe to have them for a concert or whatever, you know. Well, our email address is there. You can enjoying life with Jerry and Jan at gmail.com. That's mm -hmm. enjoying life with Jerry and Jan at, at gmail.com you can and we'll see that they get it or you can drop us a letter at post office box 50 50 isn't that a good number <laughs> if you're 50 you ought to be enjoying life so now this is what this is right here so give us a call thanks for being with us today what a wonderful time <laughs> we've had with our special guests charlie and linda beatenbow don't miss our next program call a friend and tell them to and remember join our motto. With us. and remember our motto take christ as your partner and, and enjoy, enjoy life. life see ya